the tape. Efrain Escudero, Echel and Magico, 25 years old. Jacob Volkman is 31. Everything else is virtually identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this lightweight matchup. The beautiful Lariani. Sean Della, Brittany, all here tonight as we get set for this lightweight battle. Jacob Volkman in the black trunks, in the kilted trunks. Efrain Escudero, Volkman the southpaw. Escudero trains with Benson Henderson. They have a very, very close relationship. Volkman trains with Sean Shirk, former lightweight champion. And with two wrestlers battling, Joe, oftentimes we find out which one has improved his striking the most. Well, and as I said, Volkman has stated that he wants to work on his striking, and he thinks this is a good fight for him to do that. Escudero with the late There's kick. There's a shot. Escudero's got a guillotine attempt here, Mike. Let's see how tight this is. He's got the legs of Volkman wrapped up. Volkman's trying to get those legs free to defend himself. Keep his feet! Keep his feet! Keep his feet was the order. As he still is working on the choke. Volkman on top, though, now in inside control. As I said, Mike, Volkman is a very talented grappler and deceptively strong. You know, looks like a normal size athlete, but you to see the way he handles guys, it's technique, it's positioning, intelligence, and grappling strength. Yeah, and he's a folk-style American wrestler, which encourages the scrambles, which you saw a moment ago. Yes. He was able to scramble out of that bad position and get himself in control. And throughout his wrestling career, he was known as a guy who didn't cut weight. He was known as a guy who would fight bigger, stronger guys and got used to utilizing... Look at that. He's in a bad position right here. That right leg is in a little bit of jeopardy. Now he's okay. He got used to utilizing technique and positioning and, you know, and leverage. And right now, Jacob Volkman looking to control the pace of this fight. Try to slow it down a little bit, going back to that neutralizer that he's so good at being. The most technical grapplers are always the smaller guys who have to deal with bigger guys. And when you're a guy like Volkman, whose you know, entire amateur wrestling career he did that, you, know, you just really develop a lot of grappling strength and a, a lot of grappling intelligence and knowledge of positioning and knowledge of leverage. Right now, he's controlling Efrain Escudero in the top position. Escudero was training for a fight in another organization on December 17th when he got the call from Joe Silva. But he was not training for a wrestler with the talents of Jacob Volkman. Yeah. Volkman landed a couple of good solid left hands. Volkman, as I said, is very good at neutralizing guys, good at controlling guys. Pushing down the head continues to impose his will on Escudero here in round one. And Efrain trying to use that underhook to stand up. He's got the underhook on the same side as he has uh, the half guard, but Volkman just too strong, too technical here. Not letting him up at all. Hoisting him back down every time. Efrain going, trying to go with a butterfly guard. Trying to open up a little, maybe get that right leg over the top, see if he can do something with that. But Volkman, Clearly the stronger grappler in the top position here. Yeah, and using, using the Turk, he's, he's using the half guard against Efrain Escudero. As a wrestler, he's using that to control Efrain Escudero and do damage and keep him from getting up. Well, he's staying heavy on his hips and forcing Efrain on his back. And again, flatten him out on his back. And this is very frustrating for a wrestler, Mike. You know, for a guy like Escudero, you know, wrestlers like to be on top. Yep. They, don't, they don't like this. On their back with a guy like Volkman, who's just so good at controlling you in this position. And Volkman, now he's decided he's trying to get that right leg out. But as he does, he's got to be careful of the, the underhook. He doesn't want to give up the underhook on the right-hand side. You need to work, Volkman. You need to work. And he's using that leg to keep in this position, and he's doing a good job of it. Keeping the dominant position. If he pulls it, it'll be to try to get to a better spot. Good elbow there. Good shots to the body by Volkman. So Escudero went for the early submission finish by the choke, but once Volkman able to get top control, he's kept the fight right there for pretty much the entire first round. Well, Efrain's doing a good job. Every time Volkman tries to get space and drop shots on him, he closes the distance and tries to stand back up, forcing Volkman to press him back down again and stop his striking attack. 
And now uh, Volkman has got his neck. And that frame's got to be careful. He wants to make sure that Volkman doesn't get that arm deep underneath the chin because Volkman has a, an excellent squeeze. 15 seconds on the clock. He gives up the submission attempt for now. But this is going to wear out Efrain, and it, it also, it's, you know, it sucks for his morale. Yeah. Spent the whole first round on his back getting beat up and controlled. Doing good. You have the ability to posture up and bang this guy a little bit, okay? So he's not going to outscramble you, all right? He's not going to outscramble you. No way. No way. In. Posture up, bang this guy a little bit. Hey, keep those jabs snapping out there. It's really nice. Snap that jab. If you're going to use a kick, you got to step in behind him, all right? Step in behind him. You know you can dominate this guy on the ground. He's not going to get away, all right? But if you're going to hit that double again, drive the double. Head right through the chest, all right? Head right through the chest. Ready? Breathe in. Yeah, you're really good when you're posturing up, all right? Don't forget to bang that behind you, bro. There's nothing down there that hurts you. Snap down on the hit the fucking leg. Not too high, baby. Hit low. On game time. Get the fucking low and then make him pass. Okay, circle left, circle left, not in the front. Okay, we gotta let him go, baby. Here we go, Jake! Move, it's your fight. Getting set for the start of round number two. Tough matchup for the wrestler, Efrain Escudero. As he was controlled in round one. By Jacob Volkman. Guarantee you that's going to make him think Step out left. and make him very cautious about grappling exchanges right with there. Volkman. Volkman clearly Circle came left. out on top. And again, he's going for that submission attempt one more time. But again, Volkman doing the exact same thing. Yep. Grabbing a hold of him, putting him in side control. And this is a, a big waste of time for Escudero. Not only is it a waste of time, he can get choked here. The Von Flu choke is available if he continues to hold on to the guillotine. And now he's trying for an arm bar, trying for a triangle attempt. But you know what? He's going to get controlled again. So and I guarantee you, unless Herb Dean stands him up, you know, Volkman can do this all day. So again, it's Escudero who pulls for that choke and puts Volkman in the position where he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, he made a big mistake. He, I, I think, you know, it would have been much better for him to try to keep the fight standing. Escudero's first fight in the Octagon since September of 2010. As I mentioned, Jacob Volkman on a four-fight win streak. He has won all of his fights in the UFC at 155. Volkman's only concern right here is that he's got to make sure that Herb Dean doesn't stand him up because I think he could hold Efrain here as long as he wants. You know, as I said before, he's a really deceptively strong guy. Try to get the elbow. Full guard now for Escudero. That's a better position for Efrain. And more likely to get stood back up as well if they stalemate. Right. If I was Volkman, I would be concentrating. Yep, see, they're going to stand him back up. Good I would call. be concentrating yeah. on just passing the guard there. And the real key was Escudero getting the full guard, Joe. Yes. And truly neutralizing Volkman. Yes. And really making it a stalemate as opposed to half guard situation where he's, you know, obviously being controlled more and beaten up more. Now let's see if he turns this into a kickboxing match. Trying to get another takedown is Volkman's Jacob Volkman. Yes, he is. He blasts his doubles. I mean, he, he's a he's an all-American wrestler. And he's going to take Efrain's back if Efrain can't keep that left hip up against the cage. Volkman's going to drag him and drag him towards and drop down towards his right shoulder. And as he does that, then he'll try to throw that left hook over the top. See how he's pulling him down? He's trying to get him to expose himself. But Volkman, is a, he's a relentless dude. 13 and 2, Jacob Christmas Volkman in his MMA career. He's got the, the back of Escudero. Slammed him down. Yeah, Volkman is clearly the dominant grappler in these exchanges. Two minutes, two minutes. You hear his corner, Escudero's corner saying, hop back up. Boy, that's easier said than done. You want to talk yeah. about an understatement? Yeah, no kidding. Hop back up. Oh, should I? <laughs> 
Volkman again. Maybe you turning. could ask Jacob to let go of me. I'll do that. Volkman now turning the corner. He's got his back now. And a, and now, a lot of time to work, Joe. Yeah, now Efrain is in a bit of trouble. He's got to be very careful how he, how he gets out of this position. Yep, full back mount. He's got one hook in. He's got one hook in, but you see what he's doing with the right leg? With the right leg, he's now got, he's got he, he had the hook if he wanted it to. He was extending that leg to keep Efrain from turning over that way and, and bridging out of that position. To keep him from putting that foot down on the right, ground. Right. Now Volkman's got his neck. Yeah, this uh, he's is not good for Escudero. Yeah, Efrain is in a lot of trouble here. Volkman looking to finish this fight. He's got a minute on the clock to do so here in the second. Well, he got that arm away from his chin, but now Volkman is going to mount him. Efrain is trying to turn and wind up in his guard, but, you know, that's, uh, that's not a thing that a guy like Volkman's going to let you do. Escudero looks at the clock, 45 seconds. You know, when you see the, the last three fights of Volkman, it really makes you appreciate this guy's grappling. I mean, to, for him to do that to a guy like Antonio McKee, who's a very powerful, strong guy, known for his grappling, then to do it to Danny Castillo, and then to dominate Efrain Escudero like this on the ground as well. I mean, this guy, he's a, he's a beast. Looking for the finish here in round two it's not going to happen it's not going to happen but escudero has got to be very yes. discouraged now another been, very dominant round he's been manhandled yeah. he's just getting manhandled so how do you change things up efrain escudero he's got to keep it standing there's no question about it i mean that's his only option you know and i think it's really up to Volkman whether or not that okay. happens. He's shown that he's no relentless in his takedown attempts. One minute left, you can he go can for close it. that distance anytime he, got you he wants. Scouted as, okay? Circle off and punch him if you're not you're not letting go. Okay. I need you to let go. Okay, we're down two to one. I got nothing to lose. Don't charge straight at him. He's gonna be looking for you to come out desperate. If he shoots low, I want that knee. It'll be so moist knee. You hear me? Okay. Circle left. Let's just go out. Let's go fight. Turn into a fist fight now. Let him go. Let him go. He's got nothing to threaten you with. Let's you go. gotta hit that hand, baby. Let the hand go. Shot Pretty him. accurate advice, right? Yeah, accurate, but you know, good Easy. luck with all yeah. that. Yep. You know, you gotta hit him. Okay. How? <laughs> yeah. How am I gonna hit him? You know, I mean, I don't know how much time they had to study Volkman's style. But look, I mean, Volkman is so he, he's got a lot of great movement and he just closes the distance very well. And he'll look to do so here in the third and final round. Escudero on Team Noguera on season eight of the Ultimate Fighter. Really has been working on, you know, stick and move, but this is what happens when you get close. Again, he drops down for the guillotine attempt while Volkman's looking for the takedown, and he gets controlled again on the ground. You know, what I would have told him, I would have said, no knees, no kicks, just punch this guy. Just try to punch. But even that, you know, Volkman is just, he's so much better in the, in the grappling exchanges, so dominant in the grappling exchanges that Efrain is a little bit gun shy. Yeah. And Efrain's credit, this is a very tough comeback fight for anybody at 155. Well, that's one of the things that Volkman also wanted to prove. Yes. He wants a top 10 contender, yep. he wants a title shot eventually, and he wants to show that, you know, these guys that are in this division, they, you know, he can control them, he can handle them, he, can, he wants top 10 guys, he wants the upper echelon. And he also wants a finish, and if he can get a hold of Efrain's neck here, this would uh, definitely uh, go a long way to state his case. Right now, Efrain's just getting beat up, man. And if you're a fan of mixed martial arts in general, just the science of it, you know, it's really impressive what Volkman has been able to do. I know a lot of people don't like grappling exchanges that don't end in finishes like this because, you know, you feel like it's a, a bit frustrating without the finish, but, you know, what you're dealing with is, like, really tough guys that are difficult to put away, but... The impressive thing is that Volkman has managed to go three rounds without taking a single hard shot, completely controlled all of the grappling exchanges, and although he hasn't put Efrain in, you know, out yet, he has put him in danger over and over and over again, and put him in danger of being submitted, and completely controlled the fight. Uh, this is a fortunate break in oh, a stand-up. Very I, fortunate I for Efrain Escanero. I don't understand that at all. Because Volkman still had the Turk and still had control. Yeah, he, and he was working towards the finish. 
I mean, this is a, a gift for Efrain. Yeah, well, this is where you got to swing for the fences. And don't look for the guillotine. Yeah, drop your weight yeah. down. And he dropped a single. Let's see, he's got the leg. He won't let it go. He spins. Good elbows by Efrain. Efrain's trying here. He's trying to land something. But again, you know, you can't overstate this enough how dominant Jacob Volkman is in these grappling exchanges. I mean, he's a really good wrestler. And that left leg is the, is the one that starts to control Escudero's ability to move and get into a, a position where he's yeah. free again. Or the right leg. Yeah, he's he just switched it over. Both yeah. ways. What he wants Efrain to do is make a mistake, any mistake whatsoever, and Jacob's got his back. Under two minutes. And you see Greg Nelson in his corner. Longtime trainer of... Many great fighters in the Twin Cities, including Sean Shirk. One of the things you see Volkman, he never stays in one position. He's constantly moving, turning different angles, dropping down, grabbing ankles. And Efrain is trying to, you know, fight it off, elbow him, trying to do something. But, you know, he's, he's got a mongoose on him. Escudero said, I'm a gym junkie again, but as we said earlier, Escudero Jacob looking for a choke, looking for a choke standing. Trying to lock it in. Can oh, he go? He's Can got he a very off? solid choke. A very Efrain solid Escudero choke. looking for the submission. Can he finish this fight? Out of nowhere, this choke. Keep it, Efrain, keep it. You hear his corner, keep it, Efrain, keep it. Well, I think he lost the right hand already. I think he lost the right, it's hard to tell. No, it looks like he's got it locked up again. Could he pull it off right here? He's got a north-south choke, Mike. Escudero looking to choke out Jacob Volkman. Volkman spinning out of it. No, and Escudero is adjusting again. Look at this. Wow. He's got a power guillotine. Can he finish it? Volkman may go to sleep. Unbelievable. 30 seconds remain. Well, this is certainly the closest that anyone's come to finishing this fight. Efrain has to get his right hand a little bit deeper on the bicep, Mike. He's got to get his right hand a little deeper onto his left bicep. Volkman's going to survive. Wow. How crazy would that have been? That would have been amazing. That was so close. Just a little too late, though, for Efrain Escudero. Wow. Terrible. Let's take a look at this last moment here. Look. Jacob left his neck out there, and watch what happens. Efrain sneaks his left arm under the neck and then attaches his left hand to his right bicep, which we call a, a power guillotine. And he's really got the neck here. He switches it to a north-south choke once Efrain can get his hips down. And he had Jacob Volkman in some serious, serious trouble. And here it is again. There's the power guillotine. It's like a rear naked choke from the top, from the front, instead of from the back. Very, very powerful choke. That was the end of the fight. Most of the fight, though, was this. Most of the fight was Jacob Volkman controlling positions, but you know what? He, he got a little either overconfident or he made a mistake and left an opening. And, for, you know, in Efrain's credit, he jumped on it. He tried to finish it, but was unable to do it. The majority of the fight, though, was a lot of this. Jacob on top, throwing punches and elbows and looking for submissions. Escudero certainly fought right to the finish. But a very dominant early part of the fight for Jacob Boltman. And here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Jacob Christmas Volkman. Yeah, those dominant rounds one and two are good for the victory here. Right, I'm here with the winner, Jacob Volkman. Jacob, the majority of this fight was you controlling the grappling exchanges. Except for that last minute. That last minute, how close was that choke? Like Chael Sonnens. Like Chael Sonnens? Against Anderson Silva. Yeah. Very tight. I got two, two messages. Can I say them? Please. First message is for Frankie. Better practice, down, practice your takedown defense. Because if I get a hold of you, I'm taking you down. Second one. Second, Second one. one is for Obama. Obama? Obama. The president? 
I want Obama to call me so we can schedule a glassectomy. Ask me what a glassectomy is. What's a glassectomy? It's when you cut your belly button out, put a piece of glass in there. It's when you have your head up your butt, you can see what you're doing. Okay. Jacob Volkman, an outstanding grappler and MMA fighter, not the best joke teller. Give it up for Jacob.